Hello everybody, I'm going to be showing off some reactor uh, automation in this one. I ended up having a comment in one of my other videos about it that's now up on the screen. Uh, so I wanted to go ahead and I looked into it and I'm not going to say I figured it out, but I was able to read into it on how others have been done uh, throughout the months or years. So we're going to get to those going on now. So I got my notes on this and the way that, so I found two different methods to do it. Uh, one seemed to be known as the, uh, as far as I could tell, the bang bang method. So I actually got it somewhere ready for this. Actually I say that, but we're going to go back and Let's become the electrician so I don't end up zapping myself because doing some of these things I fuck myself up. Uh, so with this one we're going to get a greater than component in regex. So this one isn't as complicated but it's kind of annoying and I, I don't think this one is used anymore and it seems maybe uh, outdated. So the way this one's going to work is we have the greater than component. We're going to have it go to 100% to 0%. So the, the regex one is the one that I don't have 100% figured out uh, as done on my previous live stream. I don't really get uh, the, how these work because it's actually coding. Uh, but this is the code that you want in here. So it's... Uh, like shift six for the up and bracket one through four question mark period question mark period question mark period money sign this is regex stuff i don't get it i don't understand it but i was able to look it up and get this out of it uh i want to suggest doing this just because it doesn't seem like it's worth it uh, and it's potentially outdated uh but i figured why not do this first. So in sign one of the greater component we want to add the load value out for it for signal two. And anytime I look over here it's my other monitor because it's where I take all my notes. We want the power power value out of the nuclear reactor. So power value out. Going back over here we want the signal out of this one going to the set turbine output. Make sure it's still an automatic. In the regex, we want the signal in of this being temperature out. Uh, temperature out. And we want the signal out going to the nuclear fission. Right. I'm an engineer. Why am I getting burned from this? Ah, got them. Get out of me. Set fission rate. So my understanding of what this does is for this the uh, set turbine output it always does it 200 to 0 percent and then it can move it based on what the power you value out is and since that can be dictated on the fission rate uh, this makes it where it always stays in between like one to four thousand so if you come back over here and turn this off it ends up constantly updating the power you value power value to be in line i believe this method only works with one fuel rod though so i think what happens if you do multiple is it ends up overheating and it explodes so that's not what you, that's you don't want that so because we don't want that we're going to take this method out and on this video i might do uh uh, chapters so you can skip this part but I just wanted to show the old method first sort of how it worked and why it's not used anymore and that it only works with one uh, one fission uh, one fission one uh, fuel rod while the other one can work with multiple so this one takes five components it takes two divides two memories and one multiply so the way I have this put up is I put the divides here, 
with a uh, gap between them. I do memory next to each one. And I put the multiply over here. So this one, a little bit more involved. And uh, there's more work on the user. The two component method, which was at the start, is more or less automatic, but it doesn't work as well nowadays as far as I could tell. Like it works well with one fuel rod, but I think it's more prone to when the ship is going. Like the ship right now is basically docked. Uh, well, it, it's free floating, but whatever. Uh, when the captain uh, is driving the ship and we're using systems on the ship, the two component one is more prone to overheat and set off meltdown alarms because it's slower to react to the changes. This one is theoretically uh, a lot faster to react and that seems to be true as far as I can tell. So we're going to go to the uh, top memory component. So the top memory component utilizes whatever the maximum output of a specific ship is divided by 100. So every ship has a uh, maximum amount of uh, output that they can do for uh, kind of everything, just like the, the load, everything. Uh, let's see if I can bring it up over here. see how this goes. Oop. There we go. So down here, uh, they have a max output every submarine does. So I'm on the Beryllia, which is 6,500. So because of that, I'm going to come over here, change this back, minimize this, bring my notes back up, and go back. So since the maximum is uh, 6,500 divided by 100, that is 65. Uh, this is influenced by engineer skills and uh, upgrades that you can get at any outpost. Uh, so if you have engineer skills that increase about like 20% and you have uh, the upgrade that increases about like 5, 10%, whatever it is, then you would do 6,500 plus 35% of whatever that is then that would be the new max power. The new max power is now divided by 100, and that is what your memory component is. But because of that, we're going to go ahead. Oh, that would have been bad. Uh, the signal out from this one goes to our divide component, which is right underneath it. It goes to the signal two. And on the, this divide component, you want the clamp value at the top to be 100, bottom zero, as you would expect. So this one, we want the signal in one to the top divide component to come over here and go to the nuclear reactor load value out. So we're gonna come back over here. And now we have load value out, signal out from the memory component. The signal out over here, we want, we want the signal out from this one to go to the uh, set turbine output kills me. You're an engineer man. Quick get fucking getting shocked. Ah. So we're doing the set turbine output. Let's put this on when I control so I don't break things as I'm setting this up. So now that we have that done, we want God damn it. We want uh, the next signal out of the top divide to go to the multiply component signal N2. And we're going to go to this bottom uh, divide component. We're going to do the same thing. Set the uh, clamp max to 100. Come down here, clamp max to zero. We're going to do signal in one to the, uh, to the memory signal out. Since we're already here, this memory signal out is 75. Because that's where it's going to get divided by 75% of what's about to go into two, which is the fuel out. 
So over here, that signal in, we're going to do fuel out. So this uh, one has memory component signal out coming here, which is the 75. The nuclear reactor for fuel out. And this divide component is going to go to the multiply component and go to the signal in one. Then the uh, multiply component is going to be the nuclear reactor set fission rate. So that's what it's going to. So signal out over here, set fission rate. In this one, you can keep at 99999 and negative 9999. You could do 100 zero, but these two previous ones are already setting the max output. So it doesn't matter what the multiply is since it's feeding into this. So now what we can do here we could set this to automatic control for four rods in here it's going to get a little unhappy here for a second the first time we fill it up okay good we fixed it so i didn't need to do anything it got unhappy for a second but now it's loaded with what it needs so this one's done we come back over here so if you come back in here, if I do it automatic, nothing really changes. So the, auto, the automatic's happen, happening, staying the same. I mean, the ship's not moving, so that is uh, worth mentioning. Uh, but now we have four fuel rods in here. It's doing the exact same as the automatic, but it's faster at controlling since it's getting the outputs directly it didn't like that when I... Uh, this game's also been running for a little bit, so don't worry too bad. Uh, what was I saying? In here, it, since it's getting the fuel out, set fission rate, set turbine, turbine. So, that's how this one works. Uh, this one I understand a lot more than the first one I did, because it uses the regex, and I don't understand that. But this seems to be the most uh, fuel efficient one since it tries to uh, come back over here. It's setting the nuclear fission rate because it is taking in from this the maximum uh, uh, output that the ship can do. Then it's dividing it by what the load out of the ship is. Then it's setting the turbine rate to be that. It's going here to set the fission rate. And this one is checking the fuel out, and then based on the fuel out, it is changing the other steps on what it is, like the electricity being generated, so forth. I'm not gonna pretend to understand it 100%, but I do think this is more easily understandable than the previous one. And now it's running, it's running low, it is directly where it needs to be, which is the same as automatic, but theoretically, it upgrades, uh, it upgrades. It uh, adjusts faster to the ship's needs. And if you want, you can still fuck with it. And if I move it, it'll set it back down. Because we're not using anything, it knows it doesn't need it. And that's it. Uh, for this one, I think it would be more interesting to see like how the alarm came off. The first time I did this, the alarm went off just like it did this time when you fill up full of fuel rods. I want to do more videos with alarms because I feel like I haven't been utilizing them in a lot of my other videos. Uh, and that can be uh, attached to uh, the automatic grenades getting, uh, the fixed foam grenades getting sent off in the water. Like you can have an alarm go off when it sets it off so you know to do it. I can have probably, I don't know this for a fact, I can maybe set an alarm for when it needs to be changed. And maybe put a delay on the alarm so it beeps like every minute, kind of like a, a fire detector or a smoke detector. Uh, I could do smoke detectors. I could do oxygen detectors with alarms if it's like getting low. Uh, fuel efficiency or uh, your fuel rods running low. Now, I don't know if the fuel out. Yeah, see, I would have to. The fuel percentage left, it gets weird when you have it full. Uh, so I might not be able to do an alarm if it gets below 100 because it defaults to a higher uh, percent. So I might need to do dividing on that, maybe 100 divided by 4 or something. I'm not sure what I would do with that yet. 
uh, assuming each one prints out 100%, right? Yeah, maybe 100 divided by 4. If it gets below that, then that's just the alarm when it gets below like 10% total. I'm not sure. Just an idea. Um, all right, that's it for this one. Uh, I thought it was interesting to look into. I would have never figured this out by myself. I did uh, more research on this on the uh, YouTube itself for uh, videos of either other people doing it or other people talking about it, Reddit with people talking about it. Uh, there's a quality of, li quality of life guide I found on Steam for this game that was written, I think, a year or two ago. Uh, I don't remember. It had a lot of reactor stuff in it. I don't remember if it had this specific one. It probably did. Uh, but it did have like three or four versions of this. I think it even had the two component one. Uh, I don't have it up, so whoever wrote that video or wrote that guide, awesome. It's there for anybody to see it if they want to. If they just go to the Barodrama Steam uh, page and look at the guides, it's probably under like maintenance or I, I don't check the guides off, so I don't know all the sections. Uh, but yeah, I'm not the one that discovered this one. Uh, well, I, I didn't figure this one out by myself like other people did. Uh, I do feel sort of proud with my previous ones. I figured that out myself, but it was not nearly as involved as this one is because it takes more knowledge and game knowledge that I don't have. I've only had the game for like a month or so. I've never messed with the reactor, but all that out of the way, I thought this was fun. Uh, that was it. See you guys.